Now we'll come to the topic one that is selection process. Uh, selection process as we already discussed, uh, it is an outcome of your recruitment, uh, you know, the selection starts. So what is exactly selection? It's nothing but, you know, you have the uh, n number of candidates, you know, application form is in front of you as an HR person. We try to, you know, probably apply a right kind of a techniques through which we try to shortlist and based on that you know we go ahead with the selection process and what is the kind of a technique we use what is the parameter we use for selecting so that has to be planned very well and uh, you know if you look at it actually you know according to a thomas uh, you know the selection is nothing but a process of differentiating between applicants in order to identify his those with a greater kind of a livelihood or success on the jobs in a single words or probably in a simple words uh, it is a function performed by the management of selecting the right kind of an employee. That's what exactly selection is all about. After identifying the sources of human resource, we are actually you know searching the right kind of a prospective employees. Uh, we stimulate them to apply for a job in the organization. The objective of the selection decision is to you know choose the right kind of a candidate for a right kind of a job. Ultimately, you know, make sure that the particular candidate is more successfully could able to you know do that uh, you know entire function of the uh, what you call it as your uh, job. So that's a major uh, criteria. So there will be a lot of pool of qualified candidates. From them, we try to select the best out of it. That's what exactly selection is all about. And uh, if you look at the selection process flowchart, it all starts from job analysis itself. Even before the recruitment, we try to analyze the job and based on the job analysis we try to you know come out an outcome as to which are the kind of a post what is the kind of an you know number of uh, uh, opportunities so that's we are trying to you know come out with the second step is we go ahead with the recruitment we, as the end of the recruitment we try to have a pool of talent or probably the pool of candidates profile we have it in our the hand and uh, those application forms we try to you know probably uh, take it further and we try to shortlist the people by conducting a general entrance test kind of a thing and uh, through the entrance test we try to you know probably shortlist the candidates and once that has been shortlisted then we move on to the group discussion it's again a filtering process and after group discussions you know only the shortlisted candidates will be called for an interview and again interview will be there will be a technical interview and then hr interview and then you know the general interviews so these are the different rounds of interview we can keep it and each level of interview we can able to shortlist we can actually you know probably uh, try to uh, select only the best candidate out of it and based on all this thing we try to you know uh, select one candidate or a you know few candidates and we does a reference check back you know background verification and other things and all and ultimately you know the line manager take a discussions and uh, the employee will be asked to undergo a medical examination and then finally the offer will be provided to the employee so the i mean candidate so these are the ways actually you know the entire selection process flow chart goes on and uh, not all the company might follow all the kind of steps based on the situation based on the number of applicants uh, you know sometimes group discussion may not be there or an uh, entrance test may not be there directly you know there could be one or two three rounds of interviews so the, likewise you know the selection process will be of different different uh, kind of a thing now let's try to look uh, look at the difference between a recruitment and a selection uh, as we already discussed uh, recruitment is nothing but a process of searching the right kind of a candidate for an employment whereas you know uh, selection is nothing but it involves a series of steps in which how the candidate can be screened and then chosen the best kind of candidate uh, who can able to you know probably fill that particular post very very you know opt optfully or probably optimally so that's what exactly selection process talks about and uh, actually you know the recruitment very purpose is actually you know to create a talent pool through that we try to get maximum number of application form whereas in the selection process you know we try to the basic purpose of the selection process is to you know probably choose the right kind of a candidate so that you can fill the you know uh, various kind of a position in the organization and uh, other kind of differences if you look into it recruitment is a position process uh, encouraging more and more employees to apply that means we need more and more actually you know uh, application form whereas selection is an you know negative process where they try to reject more and more people so that we can able to filter the next one is actually you know recruitment is uh, concerned with tapping the sources of human resource and whereas selection is concerned with selecting the most suitable candidate uh, through various interviews and tests 
and uh, here in the recruitment uh, there is no contact of recruitment established in recruitment uh, you know uh, in the during the recruitment process whereas in the selection there will be multiple contact with an employer and employee will be done and uh, the selected employee will be you know frequently been in touch with so that you know we can uh, encourage them to you know probably come and join the organizations so these are the ways that actually if you look into it uh, uh, recruitment is more of a broad process whereas uh, selection is a more filtering process and the importance of recruitment and selection it helps to get a proper kind of a candidate and it helps to increase the success rate of an individual and organization and which can actually you know help to reduce the probability of turnover so that we can able to you know maintain the, the right kind of a number of people and it helps the organization and legal and social obligations in terms of providing and you know employment opportunities and uh, it helps to organize organize i mean it helps to increase organization and individual effect effectiveness very very uh, you know efficiently so these are the ways actually you know importance of recruitment and selections and uh, you know the selection process is a very very what you call it as filtered process very carefully we need to plan that